He actually did die during transport and he had to be resuscitated. An annual vacation to the snow for a group of friends from San Diego turned horrific during a snowmobile tour in Mammoth. ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals the race against the clock to get him help. When Peter Song arrived in Mammoth last Wednesday for an annual pilgrimage to the snow, oh, he was thrilled. He and six friends, all graduates from Kearney High, were full of anticipation. Because the snow's been absolutely crazy in Mammoth. Um, he's never really experienced powder like they have right now. Close friend Brian Moss says the next day they booked a snowmobile tour. This is a picture of Song right before the accident. Helmet on and GoPro camera mounted on the helmet. As the group went out, Moss's brother was riding just ahead of Song, about a half hour in. The snow conditions got to the point where it was completely wide out and you couldn't see, so, you know, you had to slow down. Then, about an hour into the ride, my brother gave me a call, super packed. He's like, I don't know where Peter is. Ma says after many long minutes, the tour guide found him, critically injured after crashing into a tree. Distraught when I wanted to cry, I wanted to break down. Ma says search and rescue crews carried him to the ambulance. Later, he was airlifted from an airport. He actually did die during transport and he had to be resuscitated. Very scary. A brain bleed led to emergency surgery. Song suffered a host of broken bones, including a spinal fracture. You don't know about his legs but he has been able to kind of give like a thumbs up, according to his sister. While the GoPro footage shows the crash, Song's family has declined to release it. Bryant has seen it. And then at some point he lost control and wasn't able to turn or didn't turn himself, um, just straight into a tree. It was supposed to be a fun vacation for all of us. It turned into an absolute nightmare. There was something we never thought would happen to our best friend. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Ma says Song, who splits his time between Santa Barbara and San Diego, could be moved back to San Diego so his friends could support his long recovery. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up to help with expenses. There is a link on our website, 10news.com.